What's up guys? This is the Roachman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Bavaria. So to pick up where we left off, uh, we've gone on counter-offensive in the Balkans against the Ottoman Empire, we've landed in Greece and we're pushing north, and also we have a new enemy in the form of Sweden that's actually caused us um, some, some issues. We've deployed an army on top of the coast and it's a bit tricky to find figure out how we're going to deal with it. We've got an army in Berlin, which can push north next turn. We've got an army marching up to try and... Ooh, you're actually heading that way. We've got an army here as well that needs to be dealt with. So I'm going to take Mr. Steinheil from Copenhagen. You men take the city. We need to risk losing it just to prevent them from doing too much damage. So we need to get our spy probably wants to get over into let's take our spy get them aboard ship pulls at them on the enemy coast you want to position yourself on the road to stockholm to give us a heads up on what's going on we're also building up more armies ready for our counter-attack landing in Norway and so on. But apart from that, things are going pretty well. We've got our little lightning war here in the Middle East, sieging Damascus, chiefly because we're actually just kind of not, not, not necessarily slowing down, but we're trying to pick and choose our battles. This front's pretty stable, but we want to exploit our pushes here. Take Belgrade, Sofia, push on to Istanbul, that would be the bulk and secured. We can begin to look on towards Ankara and also, even then, adding an even stronger presence to our front line. In terms of tech, nothing immediately is going to be researched that we need to do much about. Yeah, what are we doing in the Americas again? Barely sure the Americas are a bit quiet and we're trying to get the enemy to give us a bit of a break. As well as likely swapping some of these very experienced units out in favour of replacement line infantry. Minus seven becomes zero. Good. And then we can take one of our fifth rates. Pick up Mr. Frankfurter, sail him towards Punda. Maintain siege just for now because we've got no money to do anything about it. It's a shame to. It's a shame for such veteran militiamen to now be resigned to garrison duties, but I fear that is the only way they can be used for now. But let's hit N10. Yeah, we've got some reinforcements or more reinforcements near Vienna. Ooh. So they want me to give them Hungary and Poland. They'll give us a bunch of tech and 33 grand counter off there. None of that. None of that. None of that. And just trade. Very well. I don't need your money. You need territory more than I need your cash. So I am not going to give it up. Ooh, so are they being cheeky? Right here. See you in a second. Uh, yes, and this was one aspect that did happen. The Russians are going to begin their war. They've well, they've begun their offensive against us. So it's a good job we've got some good reinforcements behind our frontier towns. We can weather their storm, deal with the Ottomans to the south, and then counterattack. I'm going to continue trying to steal my technology. And Sweden will be an interesting one to see where they go and what their armies get up to. The, uh, so I remember, so they were shuttling troops by sea rather than moving them by land. Quite ingenious. Ah, the Mughals are going to land troops off on my coast, aren't they? 
how frustrating and, and because the Darth Maul, the movement ranges are, are so large, there's no way to actually stop them from doing it. Apart from creating like a barrier of troops or barrier of ships all across your um all across your territory. But at least they're not gonna be able to get very far. This army that was going to invade Norway has to move west to deal with this raiding force. My militia is going to hold firm and fight them as much as they can. But yes, it appears that the Swedish desire to combine their forces. You are going to be shanghai to head northward. Now you're going towards Sigmund Meyer's force, so you... Oh, I remember. I'm going to give you infantry here. From here. Good. So you men hold. I want to see... I would like these guys to try and combine into one army. I don't think it'll happen. They're too big. To be honest, I should just attack one of them. Can you... Actually, can you attack... You can attack Mr. Polak. Let's go for him. Ooh, it does bring in their other army's reinforcement. Let's do it. Let's clear out this territory. And to be honest, we've now got more armies that can land and take Sweden. And also, by taking Sweden, we can then open up a northern flank against the Russian Empire. So they might have lots of troops arrayed against us in Poland. But on the Finnish border, I wonder if that's quite so true. I guess we'll find out. So, let's deploy... Let's deploy a reasonable chunk of troops. Not that I'm expecting any surprises, but... We all know how the AI can be, so you're in the line, you're not in the line. Oh, I appear to have nicked troops. <sighs> oh well, this will kind of do. Might want to do something like this. There, and they got some howitzers to the rear. Don't deploy yet. Let's deploy my Jaegers on the right. Liebke and Jabatan on the left. Split my cavalry. I'm not, well, I'm not expecting shenanigans, but we all know how the AI gets. No, no shenanigans today. Let's deploy my 12 pounders up. Nearer the front line. Okay, so the guns that are 12 pounders behind us get up to this high ground. How it says advance. You men just form up for now. Trend lap. Okay, let's get ready to engage. Let's try and allow as much of the enemy reinforcing army to enter the field as possible before we begin our general advance. We've got a lot of gunnery support. You're not necessarily best positioned. Probably better off up on the high ground to the rear, but you still lob your shots. Limber, you're unlimbering. Their guns are probably unlimbering as soon as they spawn. No, they're not.
Let them come. Let's maybe not keep my curiosity air in front of my Jaeger. Ooh, that quick climb hit did a number on him. No, like, nope, 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 we're gone. Keep laying the pain down on him. These 12 pounders engage the 7th horse guards that are charging. That regiment of dragoons is gonna get some good hits. Canister shot the horse guards. Right, they're shattered. Not just routed, shattered. This is what happens when you attack my territory. You man engage enemy cuirassier, cease fire the Jaeger. You men advance, ready to help engage the dragoons. But in general, the enemy has sounded a general attack. So you hit the fusiliers, you hit some Pikinra. Don't go for the cavalry. Or at least this cavalry, because they're going to hit my... Yeah, there we go. My light cavalry sharpshooters have got off one volley. Light horse engage the provincial cavalry. Give you men orders to engage the dragoons. The lifeguards form square. Present. I suppose I, I, I get it's difficult loading guns on horses. Get in there and take him out. You men keep attacking. Okay, so you. Ooh. Classic that you decide not to rout right when I'm about to redeploy my army. My hussars deploy against their hussars. You're about to see that the Bavarian outmatches the Swede in combat, good sir. Curiosier, go after the Dragoons. Gun cease fire. Troops begin to redeploy. Limber up my artillery, my 12 pound of foot can now try and get all the way over here. This howitzer can limber up. You need to limber up. So we need to push up and take the road. That's our next target. Ooh, horses, get out of the way. Lifeguard. Make ready. Pour volley fire into the enemy. Regiment of foot. Yonkaping regiment. Third foot guard, marines. Fusiliers in the woods. Oh, I imagine what happened there is my uh, hussars got quick lined. Oh, they might have got hit by their flanking infantry. To be honest, there's an awful lot of places that my foot artillery are not going to be best placed. Fight. So just redeploy them all over towards this hill. Can you men push? Let's take you guys. Push up into the trees. That's a weak enemy cavalry unit. So I don't really care about that.
Pulsars back to safety. Get my howitzers to start picking off some of the enemy troops. Oh, the general bodyguards behind me. Apart from that, though, we're going to be in a bit of a gunfight in the woods. There we are. There's the Marines. It looks like they've broken. And they have. Light Horse Dragoons Dragoons. Bring my skirmishes back. Okay. So you had to fight the Hussars. The Dragoons are going to flay you with volleys of musket fire, though, if you're not careful. But it does mean my Jaeger that I had on a horse can actually advance up the tree line. New men push up. Line infantry push up to the road. Yeah, my cavalry will actually do quite well. Or fairly well against the Hussars. And my Jaeger get into a position to begin to snipe at the Dragoons they've dismounted. Lots of artillery fire coming in against the enemy Swedish infantry, though. But this is what happens when they invade our beloved German soil. Who's that? Provincial oh, Cav. Come on, line infantry, come over here and back up my Jaegers. There's a very limited number of them, so we might be okay, but better safe than sorry. Send my line infantry along into the fight to get both of my Jaegers to secure positions at the farmhouse, but apart from that I actually think there's not a huge amount left to do but let's take my line begin the advance, don't give them any breathing space to form up infantry and cavalry versus just mounted dragoons the seventh regiment of dragoons yeah they've broken push on and attack the ninth regiment of dragoons they've broken push on and attack the second light horse Sorry, Jaeger, you are not needed inside that house. So it's just a round shot. Bombard that enemy gun team. I'm not treating my skirmishes like skirmishes at all, but they're exceptionally lethally accurate line infantry when they're used like line infantry obviously they don't have the defense or the rate of fire to stand toe to toe oh my god they're going to complement my garrison guards quite nicely they're going to put out a lot of sustained fairly accurate fire whereas my light foot so they're just going to snipe the 13th regiment if they even stay around that long which they didn't Oh, there you go. Actually, it's time gauging. These are regulars.
push up to threaten their guns. The crews have abandoned their pieces. The 34th Regiment has run. No, they've decided actually they do want to make a thing of it. So this regiment charge the 13th. Skirmishers engage the irregulars. And this regiment of foot is going to get bayonet charged by my men. Yeah, the irregulars have been shattered from musket fire. These gun crews brave, but they are going to get peppered with not rifle fire, mu very accurate musket fire. Slight range advantage for my Jaegers compared to regular infantry, but not very much. Excellent. Close victory indeed. I think not. Excellent. You men reload or replenish, not reload. And you men push on just to mop up the leftovers. Yeah, you men go take out the leftovers. You men get to the coast where you can be embarked aboard ships. One, maybe two armies are going to land at Christia, uh, up in Norway. One army is going to attack the city. The other army is going to push up towards Stockholm. But yes, we have steam engines. That is expensive technology to make maximum use of. Machine rifling will be good. Get us some cool units. Grenzer, Sharpshooters, Elite Jaeger and Grenadier Guard. Looking forward to putting some of those to use. 85. You're replenishing. You can probably rob some of the Hungary garrison of troops. Yeah, the Austria garrison's taken Sarajevo. If they can leave Sarajevo. Minus three. Let's leave behind two militia units. You men could put Belgrade under siege. Don't have to take it, just put it under siege. Just to bottle up those troops and prevent them from moving. Let's get some eyes on in Sofia. Yeah, there's nothing there. Brands Lauter, put Istanbul under siege. Good, because again, we're running out of cash. So it would be, it's good just to bottle them up for a bit. We don't need to take out this army. They can't really go anywhere, because if they head west, they hit this army. If they head south, they'll hit Mr. Well, my Mr. Well, Captain Mezger, Metzger. And they can't go east because the Polish are there. Good, good, good. Oh, and yeah, then there's you, then there's you, Ottomans. Eleven thousand next turn. Oh, it's because our port is being blockaded by a Swedish fleet that our fleet cannot beat. Realistically, not 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 with me at the helm. The only way we will beat Sweden is by landing troops on their shores and taking, bringing death and destruction to their cities. But anyway, I will see you um, in a second, everyone. Aha, the Damascus garrison has finally uh, used up their supply of food and pot pot potable water, and they are going to attempt to sally against my besieging army. And they will fall. And then that will be Damascus secured. And then that leaves us at a bit of a loose end because we've got Baghdad to the east and Ankara to the north. And only 
two armies in the region to actually prosecute targets. So we're going to have to be just a teensy bit uh, careful here because that's just a recipe for uh, raiding forces to slip around the flanks and do us a lot of damage. So, oh, how cute. Deploy my, all of my guns wheel to wheel. Does not matter what type you are. March. Watch their ranks be played by gunfire. And then that will be the end. Well, not the end. The end of this garrison. Come on then. You, you are the ones that want to push out and attack us. So where's your mortar crews? There they are. So we're going to keep bombarding their mortar crews. Eventually, there we go. They've abandoned their guns. Because they've accepted the inevitability. We will not be moved off of our positions. May as well retarget these 24 pounder units. Um, these Zamandari horsemen have set up just outside of musket range, but it will not save you. Just like it will not save... Well, these fellows will not be saved if they continue their suicidal advance towards our lines. Third Grenadier Regiment, 22nd Regiment of Foot, 20th Regiment of Foot. 17th Regiment of Foot. I mean, there's just a lot of people that are within range. So you must much make all my foot artillery focus on their General's Bodyguard unit, because they're sat back. Yeah. Here come the first volleys. Oh no, they broke. Oh no, they're dead. Dead to a man. There we go. The slit and then how they're getting into the mix. Let's speed up time. Because it looks like the enemy force is only... Understandably, that's all we can really do, but only going to slowly advance up towards our... Oh, I missed these Azars getting within range. They got within range to snipe at one of our units, but when they exposed themselves, they were in range of other units. Yeah, and they can't do... They can't stand toe-to-toe -to -toe against full-line infantry units. It's giving the, my, my uh, Islamic swordsmen... Well, it's giving my infantry, rather, sorry, an opportunity to reload ahead of the Islamic swordsmen getting within range. These are my mercenaries firing. Grenadiers. 20th Regiment blown. All of my artillery attack the enemy general because the rest of their force is going to get obliterated. From musket fire. So the general's bodyguard knows. It knows there's no safety standing off. If you guys want to charge my marine, you are more than welcome to. Engaging them at close range with volley fire. Targets are routed. Janissary musketeers, the general nearby. He's their only, their only chance in salvation. Is what can their general do to save them? The answer is not very much. Now 
was just going to watch the. Uh, uh, what was I going to say? I was going to say he was going to watch the artillery destroy the general, but he routed anyway. Nice. So that is the Damascus garrison destroyed. The city is now ours, but it's still the Ottoman end turn phase. So, unless anything happens in the next few seconds. Oh my god, well, that's the reason why they get bogged down. Look at that. Dang nabbit. But rather than watch all these guys run around, I'm going to chop the recording. So see you in a sec. Oh. Oh. So Russia has attacked Warsaw. And we must defend against a huge, and I mean huge, army. Well, a huge attack, I should say. Well, I've not necessarily got the best things in the world to defeat it. So first thing I want to do is get my... Ideally, I want to try to get my artillery into the mix first. There's, there's no units that are attempting to rout. But let's do it. This is going to be... How many is this? 10,000 Russians versus 5,000 Germans. But that will... To be honest, this will deplete their entire force on the front line so my armies at Königsberg will be well positioned to drive eastward and attack the enemy I do want to create some well no actually I was going to say I want to deploy I want to breach my own walls but I kind of want to see where they do it or where they want to do it but it's very tempting to well, it can be a bit of a gamble to put a cavalry unit out wide, have them rout, or withdraw, I should say, to get a unit of howitzers in. Oh, I'm not good. I get cavalry. I get... Uh, the agony of choice. Because I'm going to need infantry... Positioned on most of the walls. Or at the very least, positioned like towards the front, I guess, is what you would where you would put it. Where you, what you'd phrase it as. So you really don't want to lose the opportunity you get from easy slaughter of cavalry from these stakes. So at the very least, if they attack straight ahead, we'll get some good kills. I might even put one. So what I've learned is that if you do this in the breaches, it doesn't work. For whatever reason, I've seen enemy cavalry hop over these things. I must, it was years ago I did it. I must do, you know, I'll do... I'll leave that as a test case, maybe. Um, but yeah, sometimes it kind of feels like that doesn't work. It's better to just, to just position them a bit further back. To be honest, I think I will gamble with maybe my mercenary cavalry. Have them rout so I can get my guns in the mix. Okay, right. In general, though, this is my reserve. Prussian egg horse. Oh, we cannot withdraw. Very well. Does it, actually, does this leading element have any guns at all? So the answer is no. So if we want to destroy a section of the wall, we'll need to do it manually. God, if we had if we had howards here, that would make our lives a lot easier. Oh, hi, Madame Dam. We have breached walls to the rear. What a waste! In which case, then we're going to want to put some men at least. Back here. Yeah. 
Gauging the mercenaries at range. Oh, they do have some guns. Way at the back. 12 pound of foot artillery. I might keep one of you here. Actually, I know. I might as well keep you guys out of the fort, running around and sniping some of the enemy units. Are you guys going to attempt to secure this area? The line infantry, you guys should lose that fight, because it's never normally wise to go on a cav a cavalry fight with the fortifications. Actually, it looks like you might be their target. So you've, these dragoons have dismounted, which is nice of them. Our guns are just getting some free shots off, really. To be honest, if I take out both these forward walls, that's not the end of the world. So are you ready to help cover that section? So that gives me an enemy Dragoon unit. You guys are actually suffering at the hands of the enemy musket battle. Trouble is, that's kind of roughly where my supporting howitzers will come in. And I'll leave some cavalry outside of the walls just in case. You men keep engaging. The militia are wavering. Hopefully they'll rout. Focus our musket fire on someone a little bit more lethal. At these two grenadier regiments charging in. Yeah, they're going to start. They're going to start scaling the walls. So I'm going to need to bring extra infantry to bear up here. You may knock out a Cossack unit. Bring my Prushnik, Prushnik horse around. We can at least try and snipe their guns. But if we can make a breach, that'd be perfect. We could abandon this tower, steal a couple of units, and cover it quite nicely. We'll slowly start chipping away at it ourselves. There goes the grenadiers. You may even start picking up the Cossacks. I'd like, oh, I would like howitzers because howitzers are going to do some proper work. They appear to not like the idea of attacking. At least we'll get a steer on where the enemy reinforcements are coming in from if these Cossacks do actually rout permanently. Oh, you guys are actually firing in a good position too. Okay, we've got our first troops scaling the walls. The hundred and oh, the, just the eleventh grenadier regiment. It's 
27th Regiment now being engaged. The 11th Grenadiers are routing, which is really nice. Got a cavalry along. It would be nice if we could. Go for their general. Lots of generals' bodyguards around here. You men take positions on the fire step once more. You've got plenty of enemies down there to kill. People aren't able to charge up because the Grenadiers are blocking it. This gun, these gun positions are doing really good. My Grenadiers have got all my guns out as well. Excellent. And there goes the only General's Bodyguard. Form up. Got some more General's Bodyguards on the way, plus... Unit of light horse. Let's repulse the first enemy attack. Killed another enemy general. Killed another general's bodyguard unit from cannon fire. That's the proper one out there. They're coming back, but they're coming back more bruised and bloodied than they otherwise would be. So my guys can't physically withdraw until they've until they're dead. It looks like. Yeah, howitzers would be very useful. Oh, good. People could try and actually flank. 5th Grenadier Regiment could get mowed down by musket fire. Let's get my Prishnak horse over. Get ready to attack the actual General's bodyguard. It looks like their reinforcements are coming in from directly behind them, which is good for us. Yeah, they're quite nice to hear. Quick climb would have been super useful. Just slamming cannon shots into them, which I can't complain about. More General's Bodyguard coming in. Another General killed. There's three enemy Generals. They, they could potentially kill our cavalry, which if they did it wouldn't be a problem because like I said it would bring in it would allow us the opportunity to uh, it would allow us the opportunity to bring in our uh, howitzers you men cross the bridge I hope so let's see if their pathfinding works I'm going to go that way Look, they're gonna go. Yeah, so I have. Yes, yeah, so I have to just stay there and do nothing because I can't. They don't want to run across the. Run across the breach the way they are expected to. Is there another general in this unit? Is that one already dead? Because this general is dead. Because this is the actual general. No, it's not. Okay, right, they've worked out that this exists. Blast them with canister shot. Keep the cavalry formed ready. Infantry, get ready. Form squares. That wall's a 
about to blow. So if I give you orders to melee attack, do you eventually find your way? Yeah, you do eventually find your way. And these fry core form up behind them. I think they are just very upset at my unit of cavalry back here that's done so much damage to their command and control. Excellent. We have our breach. Steal you. Hammer the breach with uh, can with a canister shot. There goes my cavalry. New men form square. Excellent. This unit can come down here and help cover a new breach. This flank is fairly secure. You men might take a bit of a leathering from the grenadiers. Come. Here come the, fr the enemy cavalry, which if they're going to come straight at us, they're going to hit some stakes. Keep blasting them with canister shot. If they run this way, they'll evade some stakes, but... Whoa, no! Don't go that way. Go the other way. Don't run down into the breach. Cavalry's charged in. They're going to be slaughtered. See if I can get my guns into the fort. Oh, so much cavalry running in. And it's going to be utterly futile. You men engage. These guerrilla mercenaries, whoops, sneezing coming. Apologies. Actually, hold your position. The enemy attack in the centres fizzled out because um, the vast majority of our assaulting units have just been obliterated by our stakes. So you guys make a fairly good progress compared to regular foot artillery, at least. You men, run. Make haste. My lifeguards hold firm. There we go. If you men stay here, you can fire down on top of into this into the breach as enemy troops advance. Yeah, it's easy just to keep the quick line firing. That's cool, isn't it? Lancer guards. Oh, how cute. They did their lances. Some of my men are going to run forward to die. Including the officer. This maybe make a bit space. Let's hold my guns. I want to get a cavalry unit out to get ready to attack these European mercenaries. Yeah, this infantry is doing well against the Grenadiers. Are you 
shooting. More enemy cavalry. Oh, blade horses. How about you? Swords are going flying. X-Pan infantry. Actual infantry coming in. You must be wasting your ammo against someone who's stuck. Counter charge the expat infantry, let one last volley of gunfire tear through them and cease fire before you guys fire. Actually, no, don't fire yet. Specifically, don't want you to attack any one unit. Okay, looks like you guys might try and secure this gate. Valuable, but foolish. Second foot guards, saw guards. Attempts to charge up the wall. Yeah, my inventory is still running. wavering make them break just chase them out oh they got hit by a good canister shot bayonet charge the hand mortars don't let them fire these line infantry guards can run Guards, get up here. I need to commit my cavalry a bit more to free up some space in my army for more infantry because I'm running out. And charge the Tsar guards in the rear. Some hand mortars and blunderbuss shotgunners I'm not overly worried about. Even over to take this spot here. Yeah, just fight. You man, cease fire. Get in here and help support the attack. Still, the reinforcements come. Fortunately, they're not intercepting my reinforcements. Oh, the, the enemy musket fire from the Dragoons is actually hurting them more than it's hurting me. The Tsar guards are routing, which means when you guys make contact... ...should be the end of you. More Hussars. Oh, lots of Hussars. That's going to not be a great set of outcomes. You men try draw them. Try draw them across the barrier. More enemy cavalry is being drawn in. 
foot guards are running to a weak infantry unit get over here to support the breach then once they run out of ammunition or uh, otherwise not so useful they will be sent to fight to the death Pull my infantry back up the back up the fortifications, let the cavalry charge in and die against my stakes. There are there is a selection of enemy infantry in the field, or in, in the courtyard, but I'm best served falling back, letting their cavalry die against my stakes, and then counterattacking. these howitzers when they get into position we can start to do some of our, we can actually start to do some of our own offensive work these infantry that are stuck down here don't be stuck down here get up to the walls now it's the hussars will have to find new targets and they won't like it You men can take position here. You men take position here. We've got lifeguards here ready to defend this section of the wall from guard musketeers. Okay, line infantry guards. Stay in the centre. I'll redeploy you as necessary. Deploy my cuirassier out here. 17th Regiment of Horse. Fancy the chances. A lot of enemy artillery forming up over here, it looks like. Well, not quite so much. Engage the 17th. My cavalry will win this engagement. Second Regiment of Dragoons fought a valiant action. But they will... We will need <laughs> more infantry than we will cavalry. Broken enemy cavalry. Push my cavalry up the flank. Reinforcing hussars. Push my hussars up the right flank. Actually, I might keep them on the left. The group my cavalry together, the more likely it is I can entice them into doing something silly. Right core wavering, understandably. Come on, artillery, work it out. There we go. These aren't just any howitzers, these are heavy horse howitzer artillery. Which are the freaking best how it says you can get in the game. You're gonna sit there firing what five muskets? Fine. Broken unit of marines. You men stay until you no longer wish to stay and you want to try and rout. Let's 
That's a lot of enemy. This, this is this is the kind of reason I didn't want to deploy my howitz, my hussars at the right flank, because they'd be too easily gobbled up. At least supporting my cuirassier, they might do some good. out the 4th Regiment of Dragoons, write them off. Charge into the 42nd Regiment, let's maybe run my Hussars over here. The hope is I could try and make them route before the 50th got into position, but that might have been a bit of a fool's hope. Pull my cuirassier out of there. Although they appear to like they're stuck. Although it looks like they've been damaged from this section of the fort collapsing. So it's made 40 second waiver. Oh, there go the 50th. Keep attacking them. They've not lost many men. My Crusier charged the 8th Regiment of Dragoons. So apart from that, it looks like they don't really want to push the attack. Well, they can't. Because here come the horse howitzers. Get up front. It's a very weird deployment arrow. Get up front and then start lobbing shells at anybody who even looks at you a little bit funny. Forty fourth, come over here and support the lifeguards. The forty fifth, take position on that section of the wall. First foot guards, storm across that bridge. They want you to try and use our own guns against us. No sir. Let's get you men into the battle. Howitzers may end up getting used for counter battery purposes. But there's an awful lot of bad guys around, and if Quick Climb seems like the most appropriate use of their firepower, then that's what I'm going to do. Troy Corps, they're down to 43 men, can be committed to engage 17th foot guards. Unleash the 6th light horse to engage the 50th regiment of foot that reformed, but not fast enough to prevent them from being charged and they can't have them from square they lost a whole bunch of men real quick withdraw cuirassier engage the garrison guards from the rear so do you can't, okay, you can't engage enemy guns you can engage some of these infantry coming in fuselier will get gunned down no problems there uh, even got charged by the light horse that's not ideal 
foot guards are shattered. Charge on into the horse grenadiers. And look at these guys. Straight in, without a care in the world. We've lost one of our guns. Oh, they're going to get bayonet charging. Hold. Now they're charging up the wall. I see. can charge out the wall if you like. Leap guard, get over here. It's just all of you, both of you rather. Be committed into the action. Now this is when my horse guard, when my cuirassiers break. And the counter charge from this enemy cavalry unit. It's a lot of cavalry coming onto the field now. Try and engage 10th Grenadier Regiment with Quick Climb. Yeah, this cavalry is going to be lost. You men engage the Fusiliers. They're trying to sneak their way into the city. Oh no, they want to take position inside the walls. And here comes their general. Leading the charge, or one of them. And there goes another general. More cavalry going down. Quick climbs obliterated the 10th regiment. UK, you men. Reload. You know, keep engaging the 10th. Make sure they're gone. Curacier are gone. Bissars are wavering. Or is this coming in? The 5th regiment of horse. They can't get in because the general's routing. Fifth, get in here. Got more infantry coming in. Twenty first foot guards. These, these guys are trying to engage the fusiliers. E-men run, more infantry coming in. Just place them all on these positions here. There we go, now they've started to engage the proper targets. And they've routed. Receiving some gunfire. Engage the fourth light horse. More infantry, get them to run. Excellent. This is the second coming in now. They're going to get slaughtered the exact same way. So these stakes, I mean, it would have been it would have been so much more difficult without these stakes. The artillery back here is out of range. It's just pummeling the ground that they're going to try and charge over. And here comes a lot of cavalry. It's the ninth light horse. Ah, oh, they routed before they could do... Before they could die too hard against our stakes. Fifth have come back, but they've immediately broken again. Who's this? This is the twelfth. So many dead cavalrymen. It's 
sixth coming in. Kim Howitz is working the infantry. Cavalry needs no extra help being killed. <laughs> I mean, so look at all these guns over here. So these are all dismounted dragoons. 12 pounder, 12 pounder, 12 pounder. 3 pounder horse. 12 pounder, 12 pounder. So that's 5 units of artillery, which is a lot of artillery, but it's not all. It's not what you want, really. Fourth regiment. Nope. <laughs> Don't like that. But I'm gonna try it. Beautiful. Who's that coming in behind them? The twelfth. They were in good condition. I mean, that's resulted in the deaths of hundreds and hundreds of cavalry. And here comes the sixth. In theory, it might be this, the smart decision might be just to not fire at all and let them just charge into the stakes, but that doesn't kind of doesn't seem right. So here comes the sixth. Not quite so mighty and epic as the previous charge, I must admit. We're starting to see some more infantry hit the field. More cavalry coming in column. See, I wish I could make these guys route, but I can't. Look, I want to go. I just want to go withdraw, but it's just no. Hit the garrison guards and knocked out a hundred infantrymen in one volley. So let's get something. Let's go after the 53rd. Sorry, 24th. You men are going to advance. I don't need you in the field. Pushed outside the gates of our defences. Actually, no, you're not. Get up here. So, that's a real column coming our way. Sixth, second, seventy second. Okay, where's my hussars? Come out wide. We can try and knock out some of this artillery back here. I was hoping you guys would try and scale the walls, but apparently not. Good hits. I mean, the second regiment's probably the smart hit. We we'll go after the 72nd. From an ammunition standpoint, everyone looks pretty good. There we go. Here comes the 6th. Over the heaps and heaps of bodies. Oh, broken immediately. Their morale must be very low. Come on, Isaiahs, get out of here. Don't wait forever. War Dragoons are dismounted. Go get him. Yeah. 
Adjacently useful quick climb. Maybe go for the sixth because they're falling back. And it looks like they really don't want to push the press the attack into the fort. Say would be a good get, so would these, but to be honest, we're still expecting loads of troops coming in and we are gonna overrun massively in this episode, but yeah. Cavalry's warmed up. Just kill it. Actually no, don't kill it. Because I don't want them spawn another unit right now. I'm happy for them to leave of their own accord in due time. Same with these irregulars. Don't kill them, push on, because right now these guys will take some they'll take some time to exit the battlefield. our way towards some of these artillery units. You guys are my reserve. Make your way through all these horses. And you can get to these howitzers. Otherwise, it looks like they didn't really know what to do, which is good. Some close range gunfire. Bold, but not a terrible idea. Okay, try recover my cavalry. It's not impossible, they just don't know what to do. No, run away from the enemy infantry. Dragoons, dragoons, dragoons. No, just run away. Inadvertently resulted in the destruction of this component to attack the 81st Regiment of Foot. Okay. So you may attack the 72nd, because you can. They're broken. So attack this blob, push them back. Why are you within range though? Or able to hit them? Maybe just. It's a bit close. shells coming in do they work they have to just creep over the top of the elements maybe they're gone attack the 53rd to be honest though there's the real there's the real potential that this is it this is all the enemy have to bring to bear in which case i'm going to speed up time a little bit How is this to attack the 72nd? I'm 
four throw cord firing two muskets at the 53rd. This is a reloading. Should get a good hit here. Right through the middle of their formation. Oh yes. Yeah, I think that might be the last of their troops. Yeah, they're after my cavalry, but they've now recovered inside. But to be honest, they may well now push back out again because there's so few troops. This is the 53rd. Pushing in towards the 64th, where so many of their comrades have fallen in the past. They've decided, they've ordered to take the city, whatever the cost, and that cost is significant. Otherwise, it kind of feels like we've repelled all of those enemy armies arrayed against us. Which means time for a general advance. Well, soon. Once we make it dig out a bit of space. There goes the 3rd Regiment. Charge on into the 12th. These guys may well die. Well, they are they are dying, but they may well rout, I should say. Be a bit more specific with what I'm saying that might happen. Two, two uh, Dragoon units dealt with. Let's see if we can deal with the 11th. 6th coming back in. Actually, no. Now you can quick climb the Hussars. Because soon it will be the time of the General's bodyguard to get involved. One for one, mounted on foot, roughly. Although it looks like we've just tipped them over the edge. Bring out my reserve, because they are going to deploy... Soon they're going to deploy. First light horse. Let's go get these guns. It looks like the enemy has thrown their last into this fight. You're going to push out and attack the sixth. Cavalry is going to mop up the rest of the guns. Then that is going to be that's such a significant dent to the enemy strength. And I want to top it off with... Okay, right. Halt! Quick! There we go. Top it off with, with destroying the enemy's guns. And I mean killing them, not just making them rout. Kill the crews. Four men left, two, one, good, and attack the eighth, Jump with bodyguards come over, come over here to attack the ninth, I was going to say, like, surely there's no one else, wow, suck it Russia, both in real life at the minute and in the game. Sorry. Uh, okay. That's that is so many dead Russians. I didn't even read the number. 
uh, yeah, that's a huge, huge victory for our forces. Sufficiently so, we're going to take the opportunity to conduct a spoiling counterattack out of Königsberg and into the uh, into towards the east. Ah, where are you going? Somewhere after the colonies. Very well. But yes, we're also going to be yeah. The invasion plan of Sweden is still on. They may be picking up more troops. Yeah, all they can do is raid, and they know it. Same with the Mughal Empire troops, although they haven't actually moved or done anything. Oh, the pirates are going to Sally. Um, we are going to do that, but considering I am well over the timer, I'm going to end the episode here. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of the Pirate Empire. Cheers, everyone.